Okay, so we just have one image um, with this lecture. It's the body of Christ. Um, and again, it, we're just presenting one here, but by completing all the lectures, hopefully you'll be able to identify several images of the church, um, describe one in detail um, in your voice thread. So this is the body of Christ. This is gets its own slide because this is probably one of the favorite images for the church. And we see it in Corinthians. We also see it in Romans. So if this is something you're interested in looking at more, on page 55, your book goes into detail. Also Romans 12, 4 through 8. Um, Paul talks about it quite a bit. But it's the idea that we are Christ's body in the world. As Paul says in Corinthians, as a body is one, though it has many parts, all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in the one spirit we are all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, we were all given to drink of one spirit. So this um, image is, is kind of complex. We've got a lot going on here. We have the idea, first of all, that um, you know we are the body of Christ. So if we want Christ to be visible to the world, we have to act like Christ. As a church, when they, people look for Christ in the world, they look to us. So we have this idea that we have to... Will the following girls please come to the main office? Katie De La Roche, Nina Hernandez, Ava Theodosin, Belen Pinedo, Tara Seaman, Laurel Kessler, Amelia Weircheck, and Aurora Valenzuela. Please come to the main office. Sorry about that. So we have the idea that, that we as Christians are the body of Christ in the world. So we have this idea that if we want people to see Christ, we have to act like that. Um, we also have the idea of unity and diversity. Paul will go on to say in, in describing the body of Christ that there's everybody has different gifts. Some people are like the hands. Some people are like the eyes. And just because would, if the hands would say to the feet, you know, you're better than I am, and, you know, how, what would we do without our hands? We need everybody. So it's the idea that we have a diverse church, but we need everybody to be part of it. So this image of Christ really is, celebrates both the diversity and the unity of the church itself. Um, so we're the body of Christ. We have unity and diversity. And also the idea that we all have a part to play. Paul will say, you know, if you're, you didn't have your eyes, where would you be? If you didn't have your hands, where would you be? So it isn't that any member of the church is more important than any other. We all have a role to play. The priests, the bishops, the lady, um, everybody, men, women. And it doesn't make any one person in the church more important than the other. We're all part of the church, and ultimately the person who is the head of the church is Christ. And we always have to look to Christ for our leadership. We always have to look to Christ to be our guide. And he should be the one whose who's lead we're following, and we all play our role. And nobody's better than anybody else. We all are part of this one body of Christ. So there's probably other things you could pull out of this image. It's a really rich image. So if it's something you are thinking about looking up, please look it up in Corinthians, um, in Romans. If um, any of you are interested in this, I can give you a, a, a synopsis of Paul's letters that will outline every place he talks about this image. But it's a really rich image, and it's an empowering image. So if this is something you like, um, it would be great to see your voice threads on it.